happen at greatly increased flexibility. We bomb Gaddafi's home! And as a weapon of greatly increased flexibility. Hey YouTube, this is Robert from Backyard Garages. Here for our first episode, we're going to get right down to it and show you all the most recent work we've done on Taylor 69 Camaro. Today, we're doing some detail sanding, filling in a couple of emblem holes, and doing the last of the prep work before we apply a final coat of epoxy primer to get it ready for paint. We keep filming it. Yeah, we're doing some body repair here on the guys who do stuff. See them pits were making them pits go away with that their high bill primer. Shit works amazing. The body was really rough and really scaled up. But you can see it just going away. Oh yeah. Take it down I might even have to prime it up again and do it. And you're using 400 for this? This is 280. 280. Yeah, cut it down quick, and then I'll cut it back with 400 before we'll put the next cut on. Hell yeah. Yeah, I probably need to fix that little bit into the key right now. See that. Got a little dent right there? Yeah. Gonna put a little bit of Bondo in it? Yeah. Or some glazing putty, oh, probably be fine too. But I do definitely want to do that tail panel black. Tail panel. The ass of the car. Everybody stares at that ass when it's going fast. Trust me. You want your ass to look as good as the front. It's like a supermodel. It's got to have a nice ass. It's got to have a nice grill. Wait, no, not a grill. <laughs> uh, we ain't talking rampers, are we? But it's got to be nice. See, this is how you get in there. See the seal? It's a bad seal. Look, that's still look, look bad. Get in here. Look, you can see the sand where I was sandblasting coming out of the tube. It's just taking the glue. See how it's glued here? Got the screwdriver behind it. Going in here. Staking it out. Separating it from the glue and the body panel. Then we'll be able to get in here and clean this up too. Have it all pretty. Up. Taking a damn 90 degree here. There it goes. It can be a little finicky, would you? But you just gotta keep getting it. My goal here is to try not to tear it if I can, because then it gets becomes more of a pain in the butt. And then I can wet sand around the deck lid where the deck lid goes and make it look pretty decent too. trying to show everybody out there that you ain't got to be no master technician or store car. Look, we're, we're 21 here. You 20, are you 22 yet, Rob? Yep. Damn, Robert, you're old. All right, we're 21, 22 out here. And, hey, we can do it. Hey, you can do it. Anyone out there? We'll have to post some pictures up later what this car looked like two months ago. I mean, basically working on the weekend. Going to college, working on the weekends. This car went from rust bucket to, to what you see here. I mean, it, this car has had the most drastic change out of any of the cars I own in two mm -hmm. months. And it is a 69 Camaro. Uh, it was here, had a big dent on this side. Had to do a bunch of body work on this side. As you can see, it's pretty straight. If you look down the car here, if you want to take the thing and check it out, I mean, that's... We'll have to show you some pictures of that also, what that looked like. Still little places here and here and here I gotta do. That's where how bad this car was pitted and rusted. We sandblasted it right here and still gotta fix this little stuff. Hopefully I'll wet sand and block it one more time. We'll knock that out there. Won't be a whole lot of problem.
seals are taking its time there, boy. And here's a preview. That's how the whole that's how the whole car is gonna be looking, isn't it? Or else. Or else. Now we put an extra coat of primer on this side here. Just trying to use some up. Now we're wet sanding it down. Trying to make sure it's also very, very straight. This was a side that was really bad. It was hit, had a big dent in it. Pulled it out the best I could. And you're using 400 for this, right? No, 282. I have 400 sitting in the bucket, too. You just got soapy water in the bucket. No, there's paper in there. You just had to dig. It's like the Loch Ness Mom. Somewhere in there, they just don't know where. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we here at the. What's the name of our show again? Backyard Garage. Alright, here at the Backyard Garage. We do not endorse the Loch Ness Monster. We are a true hater to that there Loch Ness Monster. But it owed us about 350. We're probably going to take this out, I hope. Nobody wants to talk. Here, talk about no down Loch Ness Monster owing us 350. Or do they? Now, I wonder what kind of person's gonna be the guy to watch. People our age, maybe. People that sit on their couch a lot and scared to go outside, maybe. People that ain't got any arms. Conceivably. That's sad. If you ain't got no arms, we need to get you on. It's kind of hard to work in a sore old car if you ain't got no arms. That'd be kind of interesting to see someone paint a car with their feet. Or have a special prosthetic made that mounts a spray gun. It'd be quite interesting. You'd probably do that if you ever lost an arm. I spray with my teeth. Bit very It'd probably be intensely difficult, but it'd be worth it. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't paint cars anymore. Couldn't paint or do body work or build motors. I'd like a nut. What would you do, Robert? I'd be too busy working on a mechanical arm for me. But you see, I build stuff. Take a few minutes to go show them your old gun and the nitty gritty. Since you got a camera, that'll probably be on a different episode. It's not here at the explicit performance race car shop. Get serious here, boys. I tell you one thing. Walk around here. Oh, Black Snake! Black Snake! Seems like we got that one out there. We'll keep on hitting it. <laughs> keep tuned. More to come. <laughs>